Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got a viewer writing in and they're looking to downsize. They're straddling two systems right now. They want to downsize, perhaps downsize everything they currently have and switch into another system. And that is their question. What should they do? We've got Josh writing in. Josh says, Matt, I'm hoping you can help me out. I'm a one-man band at our church where my wife is the senior pastor. We bought quite a bit of camera equipment a while ago, but I'm finding that I'm not using all of it for various reasons. I'm thinking about possibly downsizing and buying some better quality stuff. We are shooting vlogs, interviews, the sermons, and taking photos of events. So that's an important point to note here because they're doing quite a bit. Vlogs um, require or make use of an entirely different style and things like, for instance, dual pixel AF in a Canon body is very helpful for a, a vlog. However, if you're shooting an interview or a sermon or whatnot, probably don't need that. Uh, what are they currently shooting with? with? My current list, Panasonic GH4, G7, 12-35 f2.8, 35-100 f2.8, 14-140, to 140, 42.5 f1.7. So first of all, let's point out some really good Micro Four Thirds gear. GH4 is still a very good 4K capable camera. G7 is a 4K capable camera and still a, a solid contender, especially as a backup. You've got top end lenses here. They're not messing around. They've got the 12-35 f2.8 and the 35-100 f2.8. Fantastic setup. The 42.5 f1.7 is one of my favorite portrait lenses of all time. It's fantastic. And the 14 to 140 is an incredible walk around lens. So really good, strong um, offerings or or lens collection they have here for their Micro Four Thirds setup. They've also got, that's not all they got, they've also got a Canon 70D, an 18 to 55 kit lens, the 40 f2.8, the 85 f1.8, and the 55 to 250. So You've got the 70D, you've got the dual pixel AF. Important to note that they're not comparing apples to apples here in the sense of um, probably they're getting in some ways better quality out of the GH4 and GH7 right now for video uh, because of the better lenses. And also, I mean, they're better video cameras in the sense of ultimate quality for 4K. The only thing they don't have is a competitive dual pixel AF style focus system. So for vlogging, that's probably, I'm assuming, where Josh is using the 70D here. Um, interesting that you have an 85 f1.8 because I would rather it with a 70D and the APS-C sensor have a 50. But some people prefer that extra reach. Um, I love the 85 f1.8. Just I always like to have the 50 f1.8 um, and, and now the new 50 f1.8 STM. So um, we have iPhone 8 Pluses that we use a lot for shooting on the, on the run stuff. So that's a, an important point to note here too is because the iPhone 8s, as most new cameras are, my Samsung S7 is very capable as well, 4K video. My Samsung S7 has dual pixel autofocus. Um, these are capable video cameras, these phones, and you can use them and supplement them in with your, with your footage. Uh, lots of people do. What would you recommend camera-wise and lens-wise? Stick with the GH4 and buy then a nicer Canon with better frame rates? Sell everything and move to Sony? Completely confused and just want to get the most out of our resources and not let stuff collect dust. Love your channel and hope you can help in one of your latest videos. Josh. Well, thanks very much, Josh. Um, thanks for taking the time to write such a detailed question and, and what you're considering here. As it's interesting, um, I find this very interesting. I've gone through similar thought exercises myself. I've come up with four options here for you. Um, and I'll explain why each option might work for you and why you might lean towards it or you might not. Um, option one, as you pointed out, sell everything and move to Sony. Well, if I was going to do that, if I was you right now, I would go with the Sony a7 III, the brand new one. It's the newest, the most advanced tech. It's kind of refined everything. I have seen the argument. My good friend Peter Gregg now has done some testing analysis on the follow focus ability of the new Sony. And he feels it's actually better than Canon dual pixel AF now. Sony's gotten that good. He has many instances. If you watch Peter's channel, you know he has the Christmas tree and other things in the room. Um, and I know his clock. He says that that consistently fools the dual pixel AF, but does not fool the Sony. So he's satisfied now that Sony is actually better than Canon for that follow focus. They've, they've beat Canon at their own game. Just throwing it out there. Um, the a7 III, though, definitely would be at least equivalent to dual pixel AF, which would help you for the vlogs. You'd have full frame, very good high ISO. It could do everything you're looking to do here. Awesome for photos, great for your video of your sermons, your vlogs, and your interviews. You got 4K, 
You got a full frame camera, great high ISO, great IQ. Um, I would build that with a the kit. I would get a 24 to 105 f4. That's the lens I would go with as my standard zoom. It's an f4, great range, good quality. I would get the 85 f1.8 as well. You, you've already got that in the Canon side, and I would get that in the Sony side. I would also add in probably a 24 or a 35 millimeter prime, just a fast light prime, uh, depending on what your typical range you like to shoot at is if you're if you're somebody that likes to go um for instance on your zoom you find yourself closer at the 24 mil setting then buy the 24 if you find you shoot more at 35 a lot then get the 35 but it's a small fast light prime that's very handy and it'll work very well for you in a lot of your video situations as well as your um, photos that's what i would recommend that setup there granted that doesn't leave you with a backup unless you keep the micro four thirds um because if you sell all you could go that route and maybe then what you might want to do is add a 6300 or a 65 as a backup body. But that would be option one. Um, I think it would be it would be a decent setup. I think it would serve you well and it would allow you to get out of two systems if that's what you're looking to do. So that's option one. And I think you'd be happy with it. Option two, sell the 70D and buy the M50. <coughs> the new Canon M50 mirrorless has 4K, it has a newer, more advanced, better IQ sensor, 24 megapixels, um, and it's a wonderful little body. It does have some some limits with the 4K in the sense that you're down to a crop of like 2.56 times. It's workable, especially with the 11 to 22 or the 10 to 18 on an adapter. Um, I would do that, and it's going to be better in every respect. More advanced dual pixel autofocus, uh, which you can only use in 1080, but you still have that. So it's, it's better than the 70D. It's a better sensor than the 70D. It's more re resolution than the 70D. I would add a 50 mil f1.8 for me. Um, the 17 to 50 f2.8, something to consider. Um, and the 22 millimeter f2 perhaps. This begs a question, or, or I would say that then if you're going to use some of those lenses, you're going to get the EOS M adapter. To me, that's a no-brainer. I should throw that in there. I, if I'm going to buy the M50, I'm going to get that M adapter. So that's, that's option two, is just to upgrade the 70D, sell it, and buy the M50, and add some of these lenses or not, depending on what you feel. Definitely a 17 to 50 28 would, would round out um, the quality you can get from the M50 and give you that constant aperture 2.8 or just get the 22 millimeter f2 if that's a shooting range you like. Um, bear in mind with the 2.56, it is going to be longer. The 50 f1.8 Prime is a no-brainer because it's $125. Those are the lenses I would consider adding if you choose to sell the 70D and upgrade it to an M50. It's a better camera all around than the 70D in my opinion. Um, much more advanced, much more current, newer sensor, more resolution, 4K. It's great. That's option two. Option three, sell all again, um, except for perhaps your 85 millimeter f1.8. Well, actually, I wouldn't sell the 85 f1.8 on the Canon side. Reason for that is option three is to go to a 5D Mark IV. Uh, you go to the 5D Mark IV, you add a 24-105 Canon f4. Um, you keep your 85 f1.8. Um, you could add an M50 as a backup. Gives you another 4K camera. And you've also got your iPhones. So... Bear that in mind, too, on any of these options is you still have those iPhones as backup. So the 5D4 keeps you in the Canon system, and you're familiar with it. It gives you 4K, although, granted, I'm not a big fan of the 5D4's 4K simply because of the codecs and the, and the things you have to do to work around and make it very usable. But it is an option. If you wanted to stay Canon, you want to stay Canon full frame. Kind of an uh, the flip option to the, to going all Sony is to stay Canon but go full frame and then maybe have the M50 as a backup. And then option four would be to sell the 70D and go for an SL2. Now, this depends. This is an option depending on if 4K is important to you. Um, you know, you're already shooting the GH4 and the G7, so you've got the 4K ability. And if you're going to keep that system and just upgrade the 70D, the SL2 is your most economical way to get into an upgraded 70D. Newer sensor, newer, newer dual pixel autofocus, um, more resolution, and smaller and lighter too. So great for vlogging, great as a secondary camera, uh, great as a photo camera for a very, very cost-effective price. I think they're around $500, $550 just for the body. Brand new. You can sell your 70D for that. So that may be the least expensive option to upgrade just depending on what you're looking to do. Because the Canons with the dual pixel AF 
are better for vlogs and photos, with the exception of the Sony a7 III. That's probably going to be just as good a vlogging camera, except for the fact it doesn't have the flip-out screen. That's the one thing I don't like about it. The GH4, better for interviews and sermons. This is what you currently have. Um, so the, the question becomes, how important is 4K to you? That's probably intrinsic to these options. Um, but that's four options that you can look at. I'm going to throw that back to our viewers, get their feedback for you, because it's always I think it's always great for our viewers. Sometimes they point things out I have missed or hadn't thought of, and it helps you see a variety of things to make your decision. So what would you guys do in this situation? Would you go with option one, switch entirely to Sony with an a7 III, or would you go to an a7R III or another body? Do you like my lens selection, 24-105 f4, 85 f1.8, and then a 24-35 prime? Option two was sell the 70D and upgrade to an M50 and possibly add a 50 f1.8, a 70 to 50 f2.8, and maybe the 22 millimeter f2. You get 24 megapixel sensor, 4K, and it's not that much of an upgrade, and you keep your um, micro four thirds system for doing most of your video. Option three was to sell all and go to the 5D4 and use a 24105, the existing 85 f1.8, and an M50 as a backup. Option four was just to sell the 70D and upgrade it to a SL2, which probably would happen at no cost. So what would you guys do? Would you go with one of these options? Is there another option you'd like to throw into the mix? Let us know what you guys would do and why. Let's help out Josh. Thanks for your question, Josh. Looking forward to seeing what our, our, our viewers have to say on this one. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.